Welcome to Kev's Twisted Humour. If it isn't twisted, it isn't Kev's. Today, we look at the life of Lenny Bruce. Have you ever wondered what it truly means to push boundaries? Picture a man who dared to challenge societal norms, who used humour as a weapon against hypocrisy and injustice. This man was Lenny Bruce, a figure who is as controversial as he is influential. Bruce emerged as a beacon in the comedy world, shaping the landscape with his audacious style. He wasn't just a comedian, he was a social critic, a satirist, a man who wasn't afraid to hold up a mirror to society's flaws. His provocative humour often landed him in hot water, but it also paved the way for an open dialogue about free speech. His jokes were more than just punchlines, they were social commentaries that challenged the status quo. His contributions to comedy are undeniable, and his influence on free speech is nothing short of remarkable. Join us as we delve into the life of the man who dared to be different, Lenny Bruce. Born Leonard Alfred Schneider in 1925, who knew this young boy would grow up to be a comedy legend? Raised on the mean streets of Mineola, New York, young Leonard bore little resemblance to the icon he would become. His parents, entertainers themselves, encouraged his love for comedy from a tender age. However, it was his stint in the Navy during World War II that honed his razor-sharp wit. After his discharge, Leonard, now taking the stage name Lenny Bruce, began to make a name for himself in the comedy clubs of New York. His unorthodox style, a blend of social commentary and biting satire, was a breath of fresh air in the stale, formulaic comedy scene of the time. He was a maverick, a rule breaker, and audiences loved him for it. But it was his controversial style that would set him apart from the rest. Lenny Bruce didn't just tell jokes, he made statements. Diving headfirst into the belly of controversy, he wove humour into the fabric of society's most sensitive issues. He was a comedian who dared to challenge norms and shatter taboos, making his audience laugh while making them think. Take for instance his infamous Christ and Moses routine. Here Bruce portrayed religious figures as everyday people, sparking conversations about our perceptions of divinity. It was humour with depth, satire with substance, and it was groundbreaking. Lenny Bruce didn't shy away from using comedy as a platform to question societal norms and provoke thought. Then there's his, are there any NS here tonight bit. A daring exploration of racial slurs and their power, Bruce sought to dilute the hatred embedded in these words by using them in his act. It was a risky move, one that could easily be misunderstood, but it was classic Lenny Bruce, always pushing the envelope, always challenging his audience. His material was controversial to say the least. He was no stranger to obscenity charges, and his performances were often punctuated by police raids, yet he never let that deter him. Bruce believed in the power of comedy to provoke change, and he wasn't afraid to use it. Lenny Bruce's influence on comedy is immeasurable. He paved the way for later generations of comedians to push boundaries and challenge societal norms. Without Lenny Bruce, there would be no Richard Pryor, no George Carlin, no Chris Rock. He was a pioneer, a trailblazer, a maverick, his comedy was a reflection of society's flaws and prejudices, a mirror held up to the world that made us laugh and then made us think. Lenny Bruce was a comedian who dared to go where others wouldn't, a man who used humour to challenge, to provoke, to question. He pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable humour and in doing so changed the landscape of comedy forever. But not everyone was laughing. Despite his popularity, Lenny Bruce's controversial humour would ultimately lead to his downfall. Lenny's comedy was always a double-edged sword. On the one hand, his raw, unfiltered humour made him a sensation. On the other, it made him a target. Lenny was no stranger to the courtroom. His jokes, viewed as indecent and obscene, landed him in hot water more than once. From San Francisco to Chicago, he faced multiple obscenity charges. The trials were gruelling, draining his finances and spirit. Parallel to his legal battles, Lenny was grappling with another demon, drug addiction. The pressures of fame, the constant scrutiny, and the relentless legal issues took a toll on him. He sought solace in drugs, a decision that would hasten his downfall. His performances became erratic, his jokes more desperate. The man who once held audiences spellbound was now a shadow of his former self. Despite friends' attempts to help, Lenny couldn't escape the clutches of addiction. His health deteriorated and his career plummeted. Audiences dwindled and venues stopped booking him. The bright star of Lenny Bruce was dimming, consumed by his own flame. In the summer of 1966, the inevitable happened. 
Lenny Bruce, once the king of comedy, was found lifeless in his Hollywood home. Cause of death, drug overdose. The world had lost a comedic genius, a man who dared to push boundaries and challenge norms. In 1966, the world said goodbye to Lenny Bruce. Lenny Bruce may be gone, but his influence lives on. This maverick of mirth, this prince of provocation, left an indelible mark on the world of comedy and beyond. His audacious jesting, his fearless wit, they reshaped the boundaries of humor, blazing trails for the comedic revolutionaries who followed in his footsteps. Bruce's comedy wasn't just about the laughs. Oh no, it was a daring dance on the edge of acceptability, a challenge to society's norms and taboos. His humor was a mirror held up to the face of the world, reflecting its absurdities and injustices. And it was this refusal to shy away from controversy, this determination to speak his truth, that paved the way for the freedom of expression we see in comedy today. The legacy of Lenny Bruce is not just found in the punchlines of the stand-up comedians who admire him. It is also etched in the annals of history. In 2003, Bruce was granted a posthumous pardon, the first of its kind in New York State, for his conviction on obscenity charges. A testament to his enduring influence and a recognition of his contribution to the cause of free speech. His work, his audacity, his spirit, they live on, celebrated in comedy clubs, studied in universities, revered by those who understand the power of a well-placed joke. Lenny Bruce, a man who made us laugh, made us think, and most importantly, made us question.